Sony CEO Tom Rothman once again tackles Spider-Man 4 and the lack of an announcement. And he honestly probably says the smartest thing he's ever said. Weird. This dude really went from repainting sets of Wolverine Origins behind everybody's back to actually making sense. I guess not all people in Hollywood fail upwards. There's your proof. So let's be very clear about this. Tom Rothman already fumbled the ball with Spider-Man once. With the whole post-Spider-Man Far From Home deal. Where Spider-Man was just taken out of the MCU, a very public battle, and Sony ended up looking real foolish. And then they had to essentially bend over backwards and make a new agreement. Which led to Sony having their most profitable film ever after just having their most profitable film ever, which was the previous Spider-Man film. So Tom Rothman honestly understands now what the fans wanted and what has to happen. So speaking with The Hollywood Reporter, when I asked him after he confirmed Spider-Man 4 before, when can we expect an announcement and when is Spider-Man 4 going to happen? He says, when you can expect it, I don't know. But you do not want to serve wine before it's time, end quote. Now, honestly, this is a very smart move and a very tactical PR answer that he gave, which makes me believe that he's really sat down and talked with Disney and Marvel and come up with a plan. And the proof is right there in what he said. Don't serve the wine before it's time. That right there is very important. You want to serve it after a meal, when things are settled down, when you're ready to get a little loose, right? Ready to have some fun. You've gone through the full course meal. That's when you want it, or at least alongside the meal. It's a very smart response because it gives you an idea of what they're doing, which again is taking their time. And like he says, before it's time, they're actually taking their time getting things in order, sitting on this. Another Spider-Man movie had to come out two years, the typical cycle that they would have went for. Just think about it. It would literally be coming about 11 to 12 months from now. That's too soon after we just had a major Spider-Man film that did so much. We still have recovery time, time to breathe. Time to get things in order. Let the universe move forward. Let Peter Parker sit out there for a while. Let him grow as a character before we catch up to him. And also let the studio figure out its own thing. Because Sony is not going to cannibalize their own Spider-Man films that they're already putting out by tossing out another Spider-Man film. It just doesn't make sense. So if you look at their lineup of films they already got in development and the release dates that they're associated with, it gives you an idea of when you can expect this thing to come out, and it's looking like it's at least a year and a half to two and a half years away from actually hitting at earliest. 